Hi, I'm Landy. Welcome back to my channel. So today is another stamping day with Everyday Explorers. Let's look at the stamps. Okay, so for the month of April, these are being released. We've got Scrap It with a lot of scrapbooking things. And we've got My Places. So today I'm going to be using My Places. And I'm going to be using um, this picture that I took of like all of my scrapbooking things when I was working on my scrapbook. And so I thought that was a good thing to talk about. Um, I printed it um, from a laser printer and this is just basic random regular cardstock, nothing special about it. And I'm okay with these not being high quality pictures because I'm really, it's really about the story that I want to tell. And so I was trying to think about these stamps. And uh, so I think I want to use this one and this square one here, this one. And so they're made so that you can put different things in here. For example, I'm gonna put the documented one on there. So let me get my stamp block. And again, this is my stamp block with a washi on it, so I don't get it gets lost in all my in the abyss of my of my stash, and so it, it's easier to find if I put washi tape on it. Okay, so there's this, and I think I want it to be purple. So I just got this purple ink, and we'll see if it's any good. I tend to buy things on clearance, and so sometimes it's all dried out if it's on clearance. So we'll see. Oh, create a swatch label. Hmm. Okay. For the, my black one, I have a re-inker, and so I put as much ink on it as I want. And so I might have to go get a re-inker for this one. And I wanted to put that one here. And then you put the phrase in that you want, like this. Like that. And then I think I might want to put a pink thing. Something pink in this. And so I'm going to choose, these stamps are, stamp pads are really old, I'm trying to use them up. I wanted to pick one of these to go in the box. How about this one? Oh, you know what? That doesn't look good. It's, it's not dark enough. Okay, well then I will do a lighter purple. I got this for like $2 on AliExpress. It's pigment ink. It's that one, the middle one. Okay. There. All right. Next one to start the, the journaling. I'm going to pick this time to scrap one. And I'm liking this ink. It's almost black. Okay, so I can, I'm looking through this to see that it's all filled in. Okay. There. Very nice. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to, whoops, I'm going to write the journaling in and I'm going to fast forward you and then I'll slow it down when I do the rest of the stamping. I'm going to use a purple pen today. So carry on. Thank you. 
Okay, so I'm done writing and I'm trying to figure out what to put right here. And I'm thinking about this one and I'm going to put it on regular paper and, and cut it out. All right. this purple again. It's growing on me. Definitely going to need to go get a re-inker. Okay. All right. There's that. And my punch, this is a one and a half inch punch from EK Success. Um, it looks like a one inch might work better. Here's my one inch. No, it's gotta be the one and a half. Put this there. And um, in case you were wondering, I did this in Good Notes on my iPad. Well, actually, I just turned it right here on my desktop, but it's Good Notes. No special software, really. Okay. Now I need the date and I think I want it to be black actually. There. All right. So I think that's done. And so I use time to scrap. This is worth remembering. This is going in my scrapbook and documented on. All right. So thank you for joining me and trying out this stamp set. It seems like a good one. I put all the links down below in the description box. I'll see you next time.